In the East Bay, fire officials are investigating an explosion and fire on a boat early this morning. The boat was docked at the Pittsburgh Marina and the fire did claim the life of one person on board. KTV's Tara Moriarty joins us now with the latest on this. Good afternoon, Tara. Good afternoon, Tori. That's right. Police and fire crews continue their investigation into what triggered a series of explosions and a fire that gutted the boat that you see there surrounded by foam. Now one person is dead and neighbors worry that the cause may be linked to the victim's habit. Just after one o'clock this morning, flames shot two to three stories high from a boat docked at the Pittsburgh Marina. We were awakened by three very strong blasts. And the third one was so strong that it shook, actually shook the windows of our boat, at which point I looked out the blinds and could see nothing but flames. Steve Ingram and his wife live just a few docks over. Honey, I don't know if we should be this close. They shot this video of the fire, which was so intense, it actually melted the metal roof overhang. They made a uh, aggressive attack on the initial boat and uh, the surrounding boats. Uh, we did have a report of an occupant that was most likely on the boat. And after the fire was knocked down, we conducted a search and did locate an occupant uh, that was deceased. People who live on boats nearby say a man with emphysema lived on board, where he stored several oxygen tanks. He was a person who has lived here for a while, and he was a person who had some health problems, and he was a, a smoker. Authorities will not say what caused the fire, but they do not suspect arson and say the explosions heard were most likely the tanks exploding. The fire torched four other boats, causing about $200,000 in damage. Fire crews say an off-duty police officer who lives in the marina may have helped prevent further loss. According to officials, he doused the flames using an emergency hose on the dock before crews arrived on scene. Neighbors also pitched in, giving police a rowboat to help rescue stranded neighbors. It is a very tight-knit community. Uh, a lot of people know their neighbors and their, their dock mates here. And so this is a very sad and, and tragic event. Now, investigators have not officially identified the victim. An autopsy is underway. We're live in Pittsburgh, Tara Moriarty, KTVU Channel 2 News. All right.